I'm not a teacher. You don't have to do that, actually. <laughs> but thank you. I appreciate the politeness. Welcome tonight to the, some of these uh, wonderful artists' premiere performances. My name is Lindsay Bauer. I am the executive director of Fairfield Arts and Convention Center. And having grown up in children's theater all my life and having taught it for several years myself, I know full well the value of teaching a child how to use their voice, how to give them the tools that build empathy and understanding, and teach them how to build community while respecting their own voice and opinions. What we have here tonight is a group of artists that have spent all week amazing themselves. And now, it's your turn to be amazed. It is my privilege to welcome the Compass Creative Dramatics of Chicago. And I also want to say thank you so much to the Wayne and Nan Kucerik Foundation who make this possible. What you see here tonight is all having to do with the generosity of others who recognize the value in this work. Please welcome Compass Creative Dramatics of Chicago. Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, everybody. How are we doing tonight? My name is Sam. And I am Valerie. And we are the educators that have been hanging out with these young, brilliant actors all week. And right off the bat, you may be thinking, educators? Why are these educators wearing these funny clothes? I wear this every day. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Compass Creative Dramatics has a very special teaching philosophy that's all about teaching by example. So not only have we been teaching your kids all week long, we've actually been acting on stage beside them, helping support them, leading by ex teaching by example so they in turn can lead by example. Awesome, we've got an awesome show tonight of Cinderella Saves the World, but before we do, a couple of orders of business before we get started. Please make sure those cell phones are off and no flash photography tonight. You can, use your, you can use your cameras, but no flash photography can be very distracting for our young actors. Along the lines of not distracting our actors, we already mentioned cell phones, but if you have any other noisy equipment with you, like a watch with an alarm that might go off, a small child, Please silence them now. <laughs> <laughs> if you are going to take pictures and are social media minded people, we, you can find us at CC Dramatics hashtag one play, one week. And by that, we really mean it. One week. The actors that you're going to see tonight, we met them on Monday. <laughs> we started auditioning on Monday. They got their parts on Monday and rehearsal on Monday. And what day is it today? These actors have had five days to put the show together. So, if you think something is amazing, please clap. They'll love it. If you think something is funny, please laugh. They'll love that too. If you think something is tragic, please, 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 feel free to shed a tear. Definitely. <laughs> now, before we get started, we've been here all day. We've been rehearsing. We've been getting warmed up. These actors are warmed up and ready. We've got our lights and sound up in the booth, warmed up and ready. But the only people in this room that are not warmed up and ready are you. So, if you were going to go for And we went all the way to a 10, which is like cheering for your favorite sports team. We're just going to go through a little warm up for you guys. So do you want to play? Can we just cheer a one through those one. from the audience? Oh my gosh, so beautiful and dainty. Can I hear two? That's OK. That's OK. Can I hear three? A four.
Meanwhile, deep below the city streets, a band of men and women keep a watchful eye, defending the people from evil and protecting them from danger.
ability to control wind, thunder, waves, snow. snow. Those would be the ones. Training is hard work. I don't want to do any hard work. It runs in the family. We, we don't, don't need to practice. practice. The ability to control the weather may have run in our family for generations, but that does not mean you're already really awesome at them. If you don't practice, you could try for a tornado and end up with a light breeze. Bob. Mom. Training is hard work. I don't want to do any hard work. I just want to do something really, really, really fun. Like what? read a magazine! Oh, really, really, really fun, huh? That's a great idea. Love, love, love magazines! Especially with the ones with Prince Justice on the cover. He's, He's so dreamy! Now, girls, I didn't spend... Uh, I didn't spend two decades building the greatest criminal empire the world has ever seen for my girls to abandon the family business to swoon over some superhero. He's not just some superhero, Mom. He's the leader of the league. That means he's the greatest superhero of all. And the most famous! And he's also our sworn enemy, along with the rest of the league. But, but Mom! Mom. What is right? Who cares what is right? I know what is wrong. That sounds like mom. mom. The league wants to fight me on its shore. I'll play along. My mobile compass tells me where I ought to go. There's right, there's wrong. Let's get the show on the road. All my life I have trained. Ah, uh, yuck! Like a little tooth. Be the girl all day. Shots, and no one will know you're actually double agents. 
my career. One that will change the landscape of the villainism industry forever. I don't have a minute to spare, which is why I'm counting on you girls to be responsible and handle your own training this week. Yes, yes Mom. Mom. Good. Now, move along. I won't be available all afternoon. I have a conference call with my minions. To join the call, please use your weapons now. To disconnect, please enter your secret code. Good morning. Who just joined? Sylvia here. Am I the last or are we waiting on rabid rhino as always? So, you're helping your mom with her evil empire. That's exciting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mom's always evil empire this, evil empire that. She doesn't understand. Superheroes are the ones who get all the glory. Villains never get to walk the red carpet. Or be on the cover of the magazines. Are you saying that you want to be superheroes? Like, you want to help people? That's cool, I guess. But that's not the main reason we're going. It's not like we want to be double agents anyways. So much work. We want to be famous. <laughs> so you're going to try it. Uh, do you think I could come with you to try it? I mean, I mean, Sylvia wouldn't let me go. I was thinking maybe if you were <laughs> You go to League Trials with us? You can't be a superhero. What's your power anyway? Like doing the laundry in record time? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there are other superheroes that don't have powers. I mean, like uh, Batman. Is fabulously wealthy. You are not. So if you even think about sneaking out to those tryouts, we're Well, I can tell mom that you guys are being superheroes instead of super villains. Like she believed you over us? As if. Like, ever. Get back to work, Cinderella! It's not fair. I want to be a superhero. I want to help people. It's a chance to try too much to ask! Oh, hi, Kings. It's nice to see you. It's been a long time. I gotta figure out a way to get to those tryouts. Meow. You're right. I always think best while doing the dishes. And there's a big load for breakfast. Thank you, kittens. You always know how to turn me up. No, I told you we'll need at least another case of dynamite. But it's <laughs> Are you still on your foot? I told the girls when they begged me for kittens, I would tolerate you neither under nor foot. Go! Move along! Shoot! Get out of here! <sighs> well, Karen, I don't see what's so difficult. It's a simple task. Order another case. Have it delivered. Yes, I know they're explosive. What does that have to do with anything? <laughs> What? 
thoughts could we try? The change we make, the change the world will do with you and I. The change we make, the change the world will do with you and I. <laughs> what if we increase the sodium bicarbonate level by 6%? Or oh, reduce the acetic acid by 6 ounces? We could try them both! Great, Great idea. idea! Okay, increasing the sodium bicarbonate level by 12%. Hold on to your lab coats. Oh, man! We'll just have to try again! <laughs>
Chum, what's up? Well, you may have heard, the League is looking for new members. They were telling us all about it earlier today. We want to drop off some new antidotes for the Forsaken. They're expecting hundreds of aspiring heroes to show up for the tryouts. It's, it's going, going to be prodigious! Colossal Fantastic Stupendous. Awesome. awesome! It is going to be awesome. But, and I'm dying to try out, but my stepsisters say I can't go because I don't have any powers and I'm not fabulously wealthy. Fabulously wealthy? Like fat me. Oh, oh right. right. It's not fair! I want to be a super! And I want to help you! And a chance to try too much to ask! Why don't you be a marvelous superhero? You're so kind. And small and brave. Everything, Everything you need to, to be, be a superhero. superhero. Except for one thing. What? what? A superpower! Oh! Right. But we have a solution. What's your solution? No, it's a literal solution. <laughs> we made a special portable chemical. It allows you to communicate with non-human species. In other words, it's a drink that will let you talk to animals. But it doesn't, doesn't work, work yet. yet. It's got all the right components. We just can't get it to remain stable. It keeps exploding. Every time we add the final ingredient, the whole solution goes up in smoke. Literally. Hmm, can I try? Give, Give it, it a go. go. Look at that. No explosion. What did you add to the solution? I'm a guffin compound. Ingenious! <laughs> she thought of a way to approach this thing differently. Look at what you've done. Cinderella, look at you. Our inter number one. Cinderella, look at you. solution is stable, you should be able to safely drink it, which in turn will allow you to understand animals are communicating and be able to communicate with them in return. However, however, the duration of its effects is limited. Limited how? The solution will allow you to talk to animals. But only to a little one. It will wear off after an hour or so. So, so you'll have, have to drink, drink more. more! We're running low on potassium benzoate from our earlier experiments, so this solution is all that you'll have. Be sure to portion it out carefully. Well, as long as I have enough for the for the tryouts, I should be fine. And now the only problem is finding a way to escape from my step family. That's easy. Just wait until the night of tryouts, and then follow them behind in disguise. They'll, They'll never, never know. know! But the one problem is, I don't have a disguise. Hmm, let me see what I can find. Take cover! Take cover! <laughs> <laughs> for me. <laughs> Eureka! Here you go, Cinderella. Your step family will never recognize you in these. <laughs> How do I look? Like a scientist! Awesome. Contemplate and guesstimate, and it may come to you. Contemplate and guesstimate, and it may come to you. <laughs> now take a drink, and you'll have the power to talk to animals. Thank you so much. You're, You're welcome. welcome. Yep, we're 
what their favorite thing to do. Or can. Anyone, really? which allowed me to talk to animals. And it worked. I'm communicating with you right now. That's, That's crazy. <laughs> I want to show off my powers at the league tryouts. Will you help me come up with a plan? Mm -hmm. Thanks, kittens. You're welcome. once an early dinner. And a regular dinner? <laughs> I can see these powers can be harder to control than it caught. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. You can have a normal, a normal dinner and an early dinner. Yay! Okay, so I'll have your early dinner. Then I'll do my chores. Then we'll have the nor regular dinner. Then we'll be back here for a plan. Sound good? Justice. 
This is the last solution. This should at last me until midnight, or when the tryouts are done, as long as I'm on time. Okay, kittens, let's run over this one more time, shall we? Okay, kittens, what card is this? What card is this? Seven of clubs. Awesome. We should be, we'll be doing great when it's those, we get to those tracks. Cinderella, you're your disguise. Oh, what would I be without you guys?
take a few mo moments of your time, we'd be extremely grateful. Please forget it! Be careful how you treat people, young lady. You never know when they might come back to haunt you. Would you want to be treated the way you're treating us? Well, would you? Cinderella sure is a smart kid. Hopefully that solution was enough to get her a job at the league. Actually, we've been thinking about that. Shouldn't we go with the tryout? And observe the results? And write them down? Holy hydro desulfurization promoter effect! You're right! I was so excited to help Cinderella out that I completely forgot! We'll have to hurry if we want to get their trial sometime. Civic Park is right across Main Street. But it, take, it will take a while to cross with all that traffic. And the trials are starting soon. We'll be there faster than you can say E equals MC squared. E equals MC squared. Well, maybe not that fast. But we'll be there pretty fast if we take the bus instead of walking. Let's go! Most people. 
you will pay attention to junk mail. <laughs> not to mention it's awfully late at night. Maybe MySpace might not be as popular as it used to be. <laughs> All our advertising is <laughs> Check it out, guys. We're the only ones here. That means we're going to be shoo-ins for the league. We're going to be so famous. Red carpet, here we come. Well, it looks like we're the only ones who showed up, so we're just going to have to work with what we got. My name is Prince Justice, and... These are the first ever lead tryouts. Hi, Princesses! Oh, Dr. Hypothesis Scientist, we weren't expecting you. We've come to observe the tryouts. To see what kind of super talented public has. Why don't we end like just and make some notes? You know, for, for science. science! Well then, take a seat. These ladies were just about to begin. She should be here by now. I hope nothing happens. Well, in that case, let the first ever league tryouts begin.
kittens? What part is a kitten? Jagger's face. Jagger's face? It is. <laughs> Marvelous. Show up our creation. creation. Your creation? 
Allow me to explain. We invented a solution that would allow whoever drinks to temporarily talk to animals, only it kept exploding. But Cinderella helped us find a way to make it safe to use. So, you mean to say your superpowers? They, they came from a bottle? Bottle? Sorry, Captain America. Sorry, Captain America. That's true. <laughs> it is pretty cool that you helped the scientists invent a formula. And if you drink it every day, you still have your powers. We could definitely use some of the first goes on our team. What do you say? That's not fair. What's not fair? <laughs> Cinderella doesn't have any real powers. Yeah, all of us were born with our powers. We just need more practice. We, we should get, get to join. join. Even if your powers have worked at the tryouts. You failed the most important test of all. What, what test? test? The moral fiber cross evaluation and empathy analysis test. What? <laughs> what? What's that? that? The, the compassion test. test. The what test? <laughs> you see, you weren't just some random people waiting to cross the street. Well, actually, we're tired superheroes volunteering for the league today. We were trying to find someone kind enough to help us cross the street. It, it was, was all a test. And you didn't pass. But Cinderella did. Good <laughs> justice. Superheroes. I'm flattered by your offer, but I'm sorry, you're going to have to decline. What? When I was running back, I realized the most satisfying part of the day wasn't at the superhero tryouts. It was helping the scientists, them helping me, and me helping them. Aw, thanks. <laughs> I realized you don't have to be a superhero to help people. The scientists helped me, and I helped them with their formula. Which could help thousands, thousands of animals. animals. Which is why I've decided to become a scientist. Just using imagination and laugh. No scientific formula required. Cinderella, we'd be happy to have you join us. Hooray! Well, Cinderella, we're on, it's sad that you didn't join, but we wish you luck on your new career. What about us? You guys were a bunch of boogers to the grand pole. But superheroes almost always give out second chances. You could join our apprenticeship program. And, and learn, learn from, from the best. best. That would be great. We'll make sure to practice extra hard since you were nice enough to give us a second chance.
runs deeper than you can possibly imagine. Generations deep. Well, about that, Mom. We don't want to be too rebellious. <gasps> we don't want to join your criminal empire. Sorry, Mom! My daughters? My perfect evil daughters? How could you do this? How could you abandon everything I've worked for? How? Oh, this isn't the last of me. Do you hear? I am not so easily defeated. I don't need my daughters to run my evil empire. I don't need anyone. This will be the last of me. Well, it looks like justice wins again. Cinderella, you yes. Our photo call in just a moment, but first we want to give out some thank yous. We want to send a big, 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 big thank you to Fairfield Arts and Convention Center for having us. You guys have been lovely, and in particular to our sponsor contact Nicole and Lindsay. You guys have been so amazing. Every we just keep talking about how great you guys have been. So a big round of applause. Thank you for taking your time. So a huge thank you to our technicians. We've got Seth and Kevin up in the booth to do lights and sound for the show. Thank you. Um, a big, 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 big thank you to all the adults in these kids' lives. Thank you for running lines with them. Thank you for listening to these songs for like five days in a row. <laughs> um, and thank you for sharing your kids with us. They're such a kind and special group. And we had a really, really, really good time with them. And I hope they had a good time too. Seems like you guys are having a good time. <laughs> and of course, speaking of the kids, one more big thank you to our amazing actors. <laughs> Part of our 
evening, we are going to be moving into a photo call. Just take a few minutes. We're going to give you all an opportunity to turn on that flash on those cameras, and we will set up some photos for you. Um, and while that's happening, I will be outside at our little t-shirt table selling t-shirts. If one of your kids wants to get a t-shirt, if one of you guys wants to get a t-shirt, we do $20 cash only. We have youth small to adult, extra large, whatever you need. We do a really fun little like t-shirt signing party after the show. So if you want to come participate and get a t-shirt, please. If your kid wants to participate and you're like, I don't want to buy a t-shirt, please. We'll give them a poster. We'll give them a piece of paper, something so they can participate. <coughs> I will also be out there if you guys have any questions about this program right here. This is Compass Creative Dramatics Performance Residency Program. And if you have an organization or a town you think might be interested in bringing us in, I can come and answer any questions about those. We have a really awesome referral program where if you refer someone to us, Fairfield Arts gets $300 off their next residency, and the person you referred gets $300 off too. So come to talk to me about t-shirts. Come to talk to me about performance residency. Or just come to talk to me. I think your kids are really cool. Also, come say bye to me, please. Please, please, come say bye to me. Okay. Thank you. Not right now. Right now. <laughs> We're about to do a photo call. Oh my God. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'll give it over to Sam. All right, moving into the photo call. Repeat after me, actors. After the group photo. After the group photo. I will head to my meet and greet position. I will head to my meet and greet position. There I will visit my adoring fans. There I will visit my adoring fans. Where they will shower me with praises and compliments. Where they will shower me with praises and compliments. After five minutes. After five minutes. I will head back to the dressing room. I will head back to the dressing room. Peel off my sweaty and sticky costume. Peel off my sweaty and sticky costume. Then I will bring my costume and my script if I have one. Then I will bring my costume and my script if I have one. Where I will turn them into Sam on stage. Where I will turn them into Sam on stage. Only when Sam says I am good to go. Only when Sam says I am good to go. Will I go back to my adoring fans? Will I go back to my adoring fans? And I will ask them. And I will ask them. Now can we please? Now can we 